Hi, my name is Monica Frick, and I'm a master level counseling psychology student at Power Psychology and Associates. And I'm Alex. I'm a registered provisional psychologist at Power Psychology and Associates. Monica and I wanted to introduce our four week anxiety group that we will be offering at the Power Psychology Edmonton office, which is on White Ave, just above Mill Creek cafe and the four week uh, group will focus on um, some psychoeducation on anxiety um, processing your anxiety and as well as going through uh, various coping strategies uh, that hopefully you will find effective and these groups are going to be running on Wednesday evenings from 7 to 8 15 p.m starting Wednesday August 5th until uh, Wednesday August 26th Registration is required, uh, so please visit uh, EMDR, emdrpower.com uh, to register. We hope to see you there. It's the Tune In with Power Psychology and Associates and Find Your Joy Again show with your host, Brittany Meredith. How are you doing, Brittany? Doing well, how are you? Very good, very good to see you. You as well. Missed you last week, but we had a great show. It was yeah. very good, very good. Another interesting colleague. And um, you have uh, some more of your colleagues on today, so I'll let you uh, take it away. Yeah, we're excited to have Alex and Monica here. Um, so Alex Schinke is a registered provisional psychologist at our practice. Mm -hmm. Hi there. And Monica <laughs> is uh, one of our students right now. So Monica, you can, I'm not sure exactly when your practicum ends, how long you're there for, but we can talk a bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm here until December. Perfect. Um, and we want to talk about mostly today about a group that they have coming up, um, which we thought was really appropriate given the times right now, and uh, that they're running an anxiety group. So I wanted to talk to Alex and Monica about why this group is timely um, right now and what's important about anxiety and what can we do to help it and that kind of thing. So just kind of take it from there. First, tell us about yourselves, um, whoever wants to start. Well, I can start. So um, I'm Alex, like Brittany said, um, and I'm a registered provisional psychologist at both locations. So the Edmonton and the Sherpark Park uh, Power Psychology locations. And I work a lot with athletes um, and a lot uh, as well um, outside of athletes, but with anxiety work as well and focusing too on some teen uh, development as well. I'll hand it to Monica. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm Monica and I work out of the Sherwood Park Power Psychology Office. I offer in-person and online counseling. Um, I'm really focused on working with adolescents and adults. I've had a lot of experience with families in the past as well. Um, so my passion really lies in, in working with those groups. Um, had a lot of experience um, working with those groups with anxiety in the past and so really excited to team up with Alex and provide a group for people especially as we're going through a time where a lot of people are experiencing anxiety. Mm -hmm. I think a lot well, maybe some people are experiencing anxiety for the first time mm -hmm. and that's been going on so that might be <laughs> kind of interesting to see how that times out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I, I you know what I was uh, not going to join the uh, show today however <laughs> since we have since we have experts on anxiety so I, I was totally ready to go sport performance and I you know I think that I'm, I might not let you off the hook yet today but, um, it's just because we want to talk about our group but we'll definitely have an <laughs> yeah I want to talk I want to talk about the group I think it's I think yeah. it's very significant yeah because it's, so, it's gonna be in August so we want to get it advertised. it's in August okay and um, so we'll go through all of that and, but so now we're down to uh, anxiety okay and like Brittany said people are experiencing anxiety for the first time which means they don't even realize that what they're going through is anxiety okay mm -hmm. what are the markers so someone is there is completely experiencing anxiety but is completely oblivious to the mm -hmm. fact that they're experiencing it like all the people that end up in emergency rooms with panic attacks yeah. Them ones. <laughs> us, us ones. I don't know. I've never been on a panic attack. Yeah. Tell me, what is anxiety? What are the markers? So that maybe I'm. I don't know. 
I think, you know, a lot of really common ones that people may overlook or may just see kind of as normal day-to-day symptoms, especially as they're creeping up. Um, There's a lot of racing thoughts. So thoughts that they're really getting stuck with on the same topics. Um, You know, even just like the physical symptoms. So whether that be a tight body, um, a racing heart, um, sweaty palms, things like that can be really overlooked in the moment. But um, those are often some of like the really baseline or, or early markers that someone's experiencing anxiety. Mm-hmm. That can also show up as other somatic symptoms like stomach aches or headaches or things like that. Right? Mm-hmm. Having trouble sleeping, um, another big area. A lot of people tend to ruminate at night when they're lying in bed. So uh, mm-hmm. that can also be um, a marker as well as if you're having trouble getting to sleep and you're constantly worrying about things. Um, so around there and yeah constricted breathing or tightness chest um, another big one that um, people might notice as well in their body Mm -hmm. okay so then the the group um how big you know what uh what what can uh what what can people expect as as they you know as they bring their bring their hidden vulnerability and slowly experience you you know share it right and what's the you know you hopefully i use the uh, the word of art you know in the right form what's the modality that you'll be using so we're kind of monica and i have kind of like a general idea right now of what the group's going to look like uh and so there's kind of three areas we're going to focus in on so that psychoeducational piece so really walking people through kind of what we just talked about what you know your body might be experiencing when you um, are experiencing anxiety what those thoughts might look like those racing thoughts um, those behaviors like pacing stuff like that so stuff to look out for and moving into again more educational pieces on the cycle of anxiety and stuff like that Um, The second area we want to focus in on is coping strategies. So giving um, our group members different coping strategies to go through or to practice each week. And hopefully one or two they can take away with, uh, if not more, but one strategy most likely isn't going to work for everybody in the group. So we really want to make sure we have this diverse Um, these diverse strategies that um, they can try as well and then the third one we talked about as well is giving um, our the group participants an opportunity to help process their anxiety in the group uh, as well so talking through their experiences things that worked or maybe didn't work for them and then supporting each other through that process just to clarify James not every group that we do has any processing part Mm -hmm. of it like that Mm -hmm. So sometimes our groups are just psychoeducational and providing supports and resources and tools, but this takes it a little bit farther and that it involves the processing as well, mm-hmm. which is why it's a closed group too. So once however many participants sign up for it um, are there, nobody else can come in once the group has started. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, a certain amount of time, you know, commitment for somebody, like what's the, uh, well, how does that work? So we're planning on providing four different sessions and we hope that whoever signs up, it's, they're able to attend at least three sessions. Um, again, just with the strategies that we're providing, the more sessions they attend, really the better for them. They do get that opportunity to process their anxiety and they will get the additional tools with each session that they do attend. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And this is, uh, you, you guys have the space at, at your facilities to run these kind of groups? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, we'll be putting it out of the Edmonton uh, location, um, a really big group room, which I'm excited to use. So, <laughs> <laughs> the nicest windows all around. I know, it's, it's so beautiful. Funny. I'm just so really excited. It's a great space. So, um, again, excited. Are, to use. Are, you in, are you in the Edmonton space right now? I Oh, I'm at home. You're at home. And at Monica, home. where are you in Shore Park or are you in Edmonton? I'm in Shore Park office, yeah. In Shore Park, okay. It's because yeah. um, so, um, of course smart, smart smartphones are like remote uh, television recorders, right? So, <laughs> yeah, we can do a tour. I wanted a tour. I wanted a tour. But, uh, Sometime we'll do that. No, but um, of course, we're going to be following the Alberta Health Services guidelines, right? Mm-hmm. Because people are wanting to do this. They're wanting to do this group in person. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have lots of stuff in place already at our office. But in addition to that, we're going to make sure that in the group room, if we as if the regulations are the same, right, in August. Um, that we have the chairs six feet apart. And so we'll have to limit how many people are in the group to how many chairs we can fit with the yeah. facilitators as well. So we haven't tested that out yet. We'll have to mm-hmm. figure, uh, figure that out. And, and then um, 
presuming there's going to be I know, a good risk a good response is it going to be uh, demographically uh, gr gradient or are you going to is it going to be more you know, community community gradient like how, how are you going to have your groups presuming you're, you're going to have you know good response you have a few groups mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think, you know, summertime is a difficult time too, right? People have lots going on. And so we would love to see, you know, a good number of people sign up. If there is a huge interest in this, and we've talked about providing a group later on as well, just to make sure that we do have those services available to people in the community. Um, you know, like we've mentioned, this is a really difficult time. It's something no one could have predicted. And so we do want to make this available to people who are experiencing anxiety and who really do want a group that they can come to to feel heard and supported during these times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in general, our groups are pretty affordable. I think I can't remember exactly how much the ladies are charging, but um, we try to keep it more affordable. Um, the recommended rate from the college is sixty dollars an hour, but we don't usually end up charging that much. For, for, for group, and the only reason I ask you about demographic questions is because you know someone who is, you know, um, you know, senior citizen, 55, 65, you know, like a, a junior citizen, senior citizen, their stresses um, are a lot different than, you know, someone who's say 19 to 23. Yeah. In, fact, in, fact, in fact, they stress each other out. You know what I mean? So uh, really, there was enough interest you know? with different age ranges like that. We might, we might be able to have different groups for different age mm -hmm. ranges. But we'd have to see, we'd have to kind of see who's interested first and see if we need mm -hmm. to split it up mm -hmm. uh, or make, yeah. if we have interest to make different groups. Right? right. But from a community basis, though, that's, that's actually kind of healthy too, though, right? Mm -hmm. That that's part of it. You know, that part of our anxiety is social anxiety. You know what I mean? Like, uh, um, especially now with what's going on in the grocery stores with all the arrows and the dots to stay apart. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've in the past, not that I've intervened, but, you know, I've brought a calming voice of, uh, you know, gentle assurance that our super seniors are, you know, valuable uh, consumers and uh, citizens. So that if they're in your, way, in your way at the grocery store, you don't have to get mad at them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, seeing that, um, that kind of, uh, you know, dynamic in the group would be, would be quite, uh, it's going to be so fascinating to see who responds mm -hmm. and who, and who comes out. And then I'll be so interested to know what of your training that you relied on to, uh, to, faci to facilitate that group and to also counsel ind individuals. Cause this is the kind of anxiety that's never really been, I suppose it's been felt before, but not by uh, any current generation that, you know, has uh, any, um, you know, conscious, uh, Mm -hmm. <laughs> input like people back in the first world war and, and we had polio and things like that they're all very old now right mm -hmm. so it's not like they can share share their experience so it's so brand new so what you know here you know here you are you know you're a provisional psychologist and you're a um intern mm -hmm. correct yeah yeah I'm including my so friend. you've you've you you're living in covid I'm older, right? And uh, Brittany's slightly older, not much. Um, and uh, so our coping skills are also related to the fact that, you know, we've got a lot, we have more life momentum. Hopefully that momentum didn't drive us right into the upside down in the ditch, but uh, here you are. And now you're going to bring anxiety, anxiety teaching out and counseling and group dynamics. So three very courageous things. What have you discovered and what's, what are you excited to share with people other than, other than the, you know, the beginning information that allows you to share it with them, but what, what's exciting for you about what the message and the training and, and the group that you've got coming forward? I think for me, it's that anxiety is something that a lot of people experience for various reasons. Um, but ultimately anxiety tends to function the same way for most people, um, regardless of what stem is really stemming in their anxiety. And so what's exciting for me in, in providing this group with Alex is that we are going to be teaching some coping strategies that they're not necessarily a one size fits all, but amidst the strategies that we're providing, hopefully at least one of those will be a take home skill that someone can go home with and feel confident in applying with their anxiety. Um, so even though everyone's individual and they experience 
experience anxiety so differently, a lot of these coping strategies are applicable to many different people. And so regardless of the experience that someone's coming in with, we really do think that we'll be able to provide something that they can take away that can help their anxiety. And, uh, and yourself, Alex. Yeah, uh, I like to call kind of right now is we're all the anxiety of uncertainty. We don't really know what's happening in the world right now. We don't know when phase three is going to happen. All There's all these different types of things. And when I think back to the beginning of COVID was, you know, a lot of those coping strategies we would have normally used, we couldn't do. Examples would be like a lot of people would cope by going to the gym. Well, then the gym isn't available. Um, people might go and hang out with friends and then that wasn't really available. So my goal too is to hopefully include these coping strategies that um, that Monica talked about that we can that they can apply. If example, if there is a phase or a second wave, I guess of COVID nineteen, which is also part of that anxiety piece that I think a lot of people are experiencing, is having these strategies in place so that they're able to cope with that and move forward, um, and I guess less reliant on those ones that. Um, we couldn't necessarily access during the beginning of COVID-19. So that was sort of my part of my goals with this group. And again, pulling on that. So what can people do ind independently or on their own uh, to help them cope with anxiety? Okay. And then how do, uh, how do people uh, you know, join this group? Uh, on our website, you can sign up on our website or register there or by emailing us at info at emdrpower.com or calling us okay. 7804670700. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's, it's very exciting. Can mm -hmm. I say a couple more things about the group? Yeah, go ahead for sure. Yeah. I just want to talk about the dates and that kind of thing too. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it's going to be running from August 5th to the 26th every Wednesday. So it's four sessions. Uh, and it's $100, $120 for the four weeks. So that's actually half the the recommended group price from the college, which is great uh, to make it more affordable for all those different demographics like we talked about. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we already talked about where it's going to be running. Uh, one thing that's important to note is that the admission office is unfortunately not accessible for wheelchairs and that kind of thing. Or if you have difficulty walking upstairs, there's two fairly long sets of stairs, so that's important. Um, mm -hmm. I also wanted, I was also wondering um, if there's any possibility to have a virtual group as well at some point, if that's something that people are interested in. <laughs> On yeah. TVU? That'd be great. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, live, not live, but just in general. I'm, 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 okay. <laughs> that would be super interesting to watch. You, yeah. you know, it would take, you know, the thing is though, people would, they'd be acting, so you, you it would oh, take. No, have you seen the couples therapy? Uh, I think it's on Crave or something, it's couples therapy. Yeah, I know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm just so, I'm, I'm so encouraging <laughs> you to. Real you know, couples therapy, you should watch it. Yeah, I love it. You know what I mean? Power couples. <laughs> we can do that too. There you go. All of fame of power couples. <laughs> I, you know, I think it, I think it's great. You know, so we're all we're all behind it. So um, I'm excited. I think that this is uh, this is great. So the Edmonton office is where. It is on White Avenue, um, just on the other side. Of, sorry, just on the west side of the Mill Creek Bridge. So it's above Mill Creek Cafe on 96th Street. Okay. Okay. So uh, a nice, a nice location for uh, urbanite millennials who are uh, all around there and everyone else that's on, on the South side and then a fabulous Sherwood park location. Yeah. There's parking in behind the Edmonton location and there's a bus stop right in front or across the street. So it's super convenient. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Any, uh, anything else that you uh, feel that you want to share with the, with the viewers and listeners before uh, we wrap up and you said, I should have said that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Cut it open. But I'm good. You're good. You're good. Alex, you're good. Monica, you're good. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for having us on James. Yeah. Thank you, James. It was a good experience. Mm -hmm. I promise you'll get a sports psych one. How, 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 yes. How <laughs> did you, uh, how, how did you like my uh, hypnosis uh, technique as I calmed them down? <laughs> Was I all right? I'm unregulated though, so I can't, I can't, uh, I won't put that in. That's just, te that's just teasing the boss. It's been the tune in with Power Psychology 
and Associates Show and Find Your Joy Again with your hosts, Brittany Meredith, and our kind guests, Monica Frick and Alex Schinke, only on TVU. See ya. Hi, my name is Monica Frick, and I'm a master level counseling psychology student at Power Psychology and Associates. And I'm Alex, I'm a registered provisional psychologist at Power Psychology and Associates. Monica and I wanted to introduce our four week anxiety group that we will be offering at the Power Psychology Edmonton office, which is on White Ave, just above Mill Creek Cafe. And the four week uh, group will focus on um, some psychoeducation, on anxiety, um, processing your anxiety, and as well as going through uh, various coping strategies uh, that hopefully you will find effective. And these groups are going to be running on Wednesday evenings from 7 to 8.15 p.m. starting Wednesday, August 5th until uh, Wednesday, August 26th. Registration is required, uh, so please visit uh, emdrpower.com uh, to register. We hope to see you there.